Shikara is a type of African blackhawk that is known to dive straight down for its prey. It is such a fitting name for a dive coaster, and Busch Gardens Tampa decided to make this happen with the creation of the first American dive machine. This video is going to be my full review of this coaster. Let's dive into it. Shikara was made by the Swiss-based company Bolliger & Mabillard, or B&M for short, as a dive machine roller coaster in 2005. It cost $13.5 million to produce and was only the third to ever be created, but it would be the first in North America. It would be the predecessor to Griffin at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, Valraven at Cedar Point, Yukon Striker at Canada's Wonderland, and Emperor at SeaWorld San Diego. Shikara was located in the Stanleyville section of the park. In 2007, the coaster was modified to run the newer floorless trains. Speaking of the trains, the coaster seats 8 people per row with 3 rows for a total of 24 riders per train. They feature over the shoulder restraints, which is different from the newer dive coasters like Valraven at Cedar Point which have the vest restraints. This is definitely a plus because the over shoulder restraints allow movement while the vest restraints close down on you and take out some of the air time and hang time you will receive during the ride. This coaster is visually pleasing from many different areas of the park as it is the tallest coaster at Busch Gardens. Shikra dominates the skyline. Coming in on one side you can see the mid course brake run and the splashdown, and on the other you can see the huge Immelman loop and the entrance. The queue is pretty basic and does not have a lot of theming, but as you near the stairs you pass under the sub line to board the trains. This is super cool as it looks like rope bridges. They are different angles too which gives a really killer look to it. Shikra does feature a dual load station. When I was at the park they were only using one of these stations, except for the Saturday I was there. That was the only time I saw the coaster run through both halves of the station. I did not understand why a dive coaster would have one of these anyway. It seemed like wasted space. That was also until I saw it in action. The amount of time waiting on the final break run increased, but that was only if you were the first train to dispatch. On the contrary, the last train to leave the station would have to sit on a block break right outside of the station. This is to allow the first train to get space and open the next available block. When the first train drops off the lift block zone or down the first drop, this train can advance. Other than that, the coaster was pumping people through with the dual load station. Something like this on Val Raven at Cedar Point, which gets a lot more riders per day, could really benefit from a station like this. The dual load station increased the riders per dispatch by double, so it went from 24 to 48. The layout starts like most other dive coasters, with a turn out of the station and into the lift hill. The lift takes you to the tallest point of the ride at 200 feet tall. You then turn around and enter the signature hang right over the first drop. Diving down the first drop, you hit your max speed of 70 miles per hour. At the bottom of this hill, there is a photo spot. After the drop, you fly into the only inversion of the ride, an Immelman loop, standing at 145 feet tall. You then fly up through a helix that sends you to the mid-course brake run, that stands at 138 feet tall. The brake takes you all the way to the edge and acts as a second dive. On both of these dives, I got some good air time in the back. In the front row, you get more of the hang time. This time you dive into a tunnel under a pool of water. Coming out of the tunnel, you circle around and hit a splashdown. This is accomplished with little fins on the back of the train. They dive into the water and create a wave that sprays onto the paths. In doing this, they also slow down the train. This part of the ride also has some scenery to it, with some ruin-like temples that the coaster interacts with. You then enter the final element which is a large downward helix into the final brake run. So Shikra is not the longest, but still delivers a good ride experience. I did find the coaster to have a little bit of a rattle, especially on that final helix. As you enter it, there is a significant thud, and as you cruise around it, there are more thuds. This is where the track pieces are connected. I figure this just comes with old age as the coaster turns 15 years old this year, and that could just be a result of the track not being as aligned as it was 15 years ago. Compared to some of the other dive coasters, it is definitely weaker. It is shorter, slower, and does not have as many inversions as the newer ones do, which is definitely a downside. But it is also able to deliver a completely different experience. The splashdown is very cool and unique element. The station is also very different from newer dive coasters, featuring that dual load station. My favorite seat for this ride was definitely the back. As I said, when you drop off the dives, you get some good air time. I also found it to be a little more forceful. On the splashdown, if you're on an outside seat in the back, you may even get a little bit wet. Alright, so to sum up the review with the pro and con list for the ride. I dislike that the ride has a rattle to it. The ride duration is on the lower end, and the layout is a little dull. However, the ride does have a splashdown, making it unique in that aspect. 
The coaster is fun overall and has the traditional over the shoulder restraints, which makes this ride way better than it could have been if it had the best restraints. The coaster features a dual load station, which does decrease the waiting time in the line, and it is also the first North American dive machine, so it gets some credit for that. So for my final score at Shikra at Busch Gardens is a 9 out of 10. I believe if it was longer and had featured a little bit more in the layout, it'd be a solid 10 out of 10 coaster. Thank you so much for watching this review of the first American dive machine, Shikra at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. What do you think of this coaster? Let me know in the comments. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing as I plan on making more review videos like this in the future. Until then, peace out.